Oh, look. It's more of that game you like. Here we go. Let's get into it. Let me hear it. There it is. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to Iron Harvest 1920. You all wanted to see more. This is that game you absolutely love. The campaign has been enjoyable so far, but again, we won't be able to play any more of that because we played the current five available missions. And yesterday, you all saw me play as Polania versus Saxony in the multiplayer. We're going to get, well, technically the skirmish because I'm not sure I can even play multiplayer since there's only... Uh, closed beta players on now, but it just seems to be a lot easier to play some skirmish. So if you guys want to see more of this game, click, tap, blow up, destroy that like button as you always do, and I'll continue on bringing as much and as many episodes of Iron Harvest as I can. And you guys can go ahead and subscribe if you're new here. Smash that join button and become a member if you haven't already. There are so many people becoming members this week. Thank you to all of you and your support, and welcome back to everybody who's enjoyed the series so far. Let's get started by hopping into a mission. We're going to start with another skirmish, and this time we'll be playing as Saxony. So we're going to try to bring out the Kaiser this time. We'll uh, start with deserted tracks, and then we'll go on to the uh, four-player crash site like we did last time. Actually, we're going to do oil spill. I enjoyed that map a lot more. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it with, uh, let's see, we'll have to be Saxony this time. So let's switch ourselves to, I'm assuming Saxony would be a, oh, actually, I don't know what their color would be, yellow, I guess, because Polanya's blue. And the Rusviets are yellow, or I mean red, so maybe yellow for Saxony makes sense. I don't know. All right, we'll have to be against Polania. Let's go against uh, Hard AI this time. And I think that's fine. Let's take it away. Ooh, that music gets intense. Now, we're going to be doing two rounds of this one, just like we did last time. So there'll be back-to-back -back multiplayer matches. I believe that is the main protagonist for Saxony. I think you get to play as that guy some old general or something like that, and you also get to play as Wolf. But I don't know. I'm just speculating. But I'm, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. I also love how the Saxony units are basically, like, they're basically German World War II tanks. Like, you see, like, Panzer III and Panzer IV turrets on what looks to be, like, Panzer III and IV chassis mounted on legs. And uh, one of their units also looks like the Tiger tank, too, with its chassis. So a lot of World War II inspiration for all the units, or at least the mechs for Saxony. And then their infantry and support weapons all look like they're from World War I. There's so many field guns and things that look like they're from the, uh, like the early days of World War I. All right, are we ready? Almost. Now, Saxony plays a little bit different than Polania, so we'll be seeing units that you may have not seen before in the campaign. And I have many episodes of Iron Harvest on the channel of earlier days of the game where some of these units weren't available, some of the maps weren't available. So check those out to see other differences, too. Okay, let's begin. Engineers, ready for work. Engineers yeah, yeah. Oh, it looks like the Germans actually start with their headquarters. Uh, oh, wait, it's not upgraded, is it? Uh, no, okay. It looked like it was an upgraded building. Okay, let's get started. Nice. Oh, these are stormtroopers. Cool. So they're not just regular riflemen. They're a little different. Actually, I think... Uh, Saxony's stormtroopers are way better than Polania's. These guys almost are like fully equipped with like MP38s. They almost look like, but of course they're the World War One variant, Attention. whatever those were. I'm gonna build another group of stormtroopers because they are awesome, dude. Okay, let's get some more of those guys going. Uh, avoid the weapon crate. Go for the iron stockpile and get the oil. And then go for this iron mine. Victory point. And the music is also different, I've noticed, for Saxony. It's a lot more, you know, Anschluss. Okay. We'll get that uh, oil over there, too. Drip drop. Bloopity blop. Here comes that Earl. Okay. More stormtroopers. Excellent. Let's get some engineers now. So we can build our base. But also engineers in the field is good because then they can eventually... Start working on our uh, mechs. Oh, look at how cool that looks. That oil pump looks awesome with that gi <laughs> it's a giant wooden barrel with just a patch in the side of it. That's awesome. Yeah, all right, our troops are doing a good job so far. I want some more uh, 1v1 maps. I like 1v1 maps a lot. Okay, good job, boys. Let's grab this uh, iron mine here. Ah, uh, excellent. The Kaiser will be pleased. All right, let's build ourselves a barracks now. This is uh, 
contrary to prop popular belief, uh, bears are not in the barracks. I thought I thought that's where bears were equipped, but that's not. I could barely believe it when I heard it myself. It was a grisly piece of information. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that mine there. The bear lore in this game is strong. Fun fact. Uh, no, pop quiz, everybody. What's the name of the bear for Polanya? Down below in that comment section. Uh, the correct answer, by the way, is uh, Vo... Vo... Um, no. Wo... Wober. Or his name's Wilbur. Wilbur the bear. That's right. Um, actually, perfect. What does the Empire squad ready? Where's the enemy? I haven't even made contact with them yet. Well, they're up there. And they're capturing stuff. Oh, like, you can actually see into the enemy's base to see how... What kind of structures they've made. Interesting. Uh, let's see here. We have a, uh... Wow, that guy's actually wearing a mask. Interesting. Uh, grenadiers from Saxony, flamethrowers, and stormtroopers, and gunners, which are anti-tank. Um, what else do we have here? Machine gunners, field cannons. Okay, yep. Yeah. I think I actually want to get some uh, field gunners here, Standing so we'll get them pimped out soon. But can I build a... No, all right. So obviously the German stuff a lot more expensive because it's higher quality. So we're going to have to keep expanding. So let's keep grabbing some of those goodies off the field. I really need more oil. We have two oil pumps. The enemy has almost three. We're going to have to battle over this one then. So let's bring engineers the fight to them. Although these engineers Underway. are not the best. The Kaiser's finest. Okay, you guys stay there, actually. And you guys come back, too. You're going to help them build. I'm going to send out these two stormtrooper squads to go capture the victory point. And actually, if I don't capture the victory point, it might extend the battle a little bit longer. I'm going to try to capture one, but not all three. That was my flaws the last few times. I want to see the the battle actually, like, drag out. Oh, uh, hello. Oh, yeah. We're under attack. Are these guys bleeding black? Of course they're capturing our pump. All right, well, they're about to lose a squad unless they retreat. It's going to be a squad wipe. One more to go. You better run, bro. That's a lot of damage. Okay. All right, let's go over here. Clear that engineer squad out, and then we'll go cap the last one. All right, with that added time that we've been waiting, we can now build ourselves a... looks like it's locked. Requires veteran rank. Oh, wait, to build what now? Oh, heavy MG or a cannon bunker, too. Cool. All right, finally we can get our uh, mechanics thing up. I don't really think there's anywhere for us to hide. Oh, over here. Not a lot of cover out in a place like this. Significant enemy force detected. Significant enemy force, Grenadiers. All right. Stormtroopers ready. They're going to be heading towards our uh, iron mine, so let's keep blocking them. Damn, I won't be able to go out and get the iron I wanted, the uh, oil. But all right, that's fine. What do we have now? We have the Grimbart, the Einshaus Hans, Eins Hans. The enemy is capturing our mine. And the uh, the Instagram. All right, cool. What else is there? The uh, oh my God, something King, the Wotan. Uh, the Stifemuter and the Kaiser. Yes, we need a hundred and uh, something fuel for that. I want to go for the big boy right away. All right, boy. Go take that iron mine back. They're going to throw grenades, so let's go get that iron mine back. Oh, and there's a lot of supplies there. Okay, I got to remember to grab some of that stuff out in the field. Did I get that oil that was out here? I think I did. All right. Stay in cover for a little while. Ah, oh, that's right. We'll need to upgrade in order to get the better one. Let's see. Well, let's go with... Uh, let's see. Dealing and taking damage. Equipped with mortar tubes. Battering rams for close-range engagements. Mortar tubes. That might be good against infantry. Seems to be our troops are not engaging from there. Keep 
Damn, Saxony infantry the best. Yeah. Oh, these boys are slow, but they got mortar tubes, so they can definitely kick some butt. Oh, as for you guys, let's try to go get that iron mine. I mean, that uh, oil field. Oh. Okay, fall back. It's too much. All right, friendlies are on the way. Ready for orders. We'll see how these boys do we'll against infantry. The enemy is seizing strategic terrain. Multiple hmm, they're taking our. Uh... Oh yeah, look at that. Stormtroopers waiting to fight. Angreifen! So these guys seem to be armed with rockets that can take down uh, mechs and then also mortars for infantry. They need to take a knee, but they're very powerful. Oh yeah, these guys aren't going to last a second against them. Perfect. I've never really seen those work before, so I wanted to take a close look at how they operate. And now that we know, we'll go take that victory point back. Excellent, and our boys are capturing the... Iron mine. In the meantime, grab some of that steel and some of that. Oh, it looks like there's just weapon crates. There should be steel around here somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, these exosuits are hitting him point blank range, but not really causing a lot of damage. All right, let's try one of these auto cannon tanks. I've seen these before. All right, get up in their face. Let's go. All right, let's recap that victory point. I'm trying to purposely delay the battle. I'm not trying to win right away, otherwise we don't get to see everything. So some of the moves that I'm making, like them capturing the uh, flag there for a little while, is a good move. Taking enemy fire. We are always ready. Let's build a minefield here. Ready for the enemy. And we'll try to start pushing back a little bit now. New orders. Awaiting orders. Good work, everybody. On the way. Now, can, if I switch to grenade... Uh, I wonder if they keep their auto can uh, the uh, automatic yeah. weapons. I'm not sure. All right, things are slow with the Saxony forces, but they're definitely building up in time. We need 150 to get up to the next level, so there that goes. Good. Now we can start building the big, the bigger and better mechs. Moving to use cover. Oh, these mechs are very slow. We are oh, you guys, come on over. Oh, we have ourselves the first uh, enemy mech, the trash can. Ah, this tube must be for uh, extra mortars then. The enemy is capturing our mine. Mm, more harassment from the enemy. We have secured a strategic objective. Let me get some more stormtroopers up. Stormtroopers equipped with grenades for additional versatility, I see. Well, we'll just go with the regular ones. All right, now the upgrades are complete. I want to save up now, so we're going to float a lot of points for a while. All right, go, go harass these guys. That's an auto cannon on top. Yeah, I think that's a 40 millimeter. We are here to serve. Fire here. What does the Empire require? All right, good. We're holding the flag as well. New target. They're going to try to throw a grenade. Beautiful. Almost no damage to that thing at all. All right, we need some more Earl. It's really cool to see how the units fight. That's the purpose of this today, is to kind of see exactly what units we get and how they fight. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing the machine gun on the hull do any sort of firing. Can we... See if that does any shooting? See if we can get the machine gun to maneuver. Now it seems to just be a visual thing. I think. Alright, good work everybody. 
All right, you guys are TB, so you can get uh, replenished. We'll send out another squad to defend the uh, flag over here. We'll send them there, and then uh, if they need to defend the flag, they'll go out. I don't want to win too quickly. We must wait for the Ka du Kaisa. 165, we're almost there. Beautiful. And here comes the Kaiser. Uh oh. Okay, they got some mech suits walking around. All right. Moving as The enemy is seizing strategic terrain. Order ready. Location confirmed. Exosuit ready. Okay, we're gonna hold firm on the right side. We are ready. Left side. We'll let them capture, go away, and then we'll recapture it again. Let's keep harassing them. Here is the Kaiser. Heavy mech standing by. Ah, how beautiful. Kaiser reporting. I'm on the way. All right, let's go up into the enemy base. Now, what else do we have at our disposal? Oh, right. This weird thing that launches, like, motorcycle explosives called the MWF, which probably stands for, like, Mine and Warfare 28. It does kind of, like, propel mines out of it. It's literally like a, a, a truck. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. If I click on these guys enough, will they... Awaiting orders. We have secured this mine for Saxony. Awaiting orders. Stormtrooper squad ready. Awaiting orders. If you click on them enough, do they... Okay, I wanted to see... Oh my god, no. They got a big boy. Fall back. Fall back. Holy crap. Run. Run, Hans. Oh, thank god there's a house between us and it. Nope, 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 nope. nope. All right, Kaisers, hold here. Hold here, here they come. Okay, I want to see if I can get a machine gun team up. Or should we build another Kaiser? We need another Kaiser. Excellent. Reinforcements have arrived. Looks like the enemy's got the victory point. Let's capture one more. Alright, let's wait out here and see if we can get a big old battle going on. Okay, what are we at for pop cap? Alright, we're at 33 out of 35. And there goes another mech. I believe if we build more barracks and such, it doesn't allow us to get more troops. Perhaps there's a way to upgrade HQ? No. Alright, we got the big battle we wanted to see. Now, after this, we got to do a 2v2 and see exactly how big it'll get with a higher population cap. The ultimate battle will be soon. Heavy mech standing by. Well, let's get ready to push all up, all up into the base. We are always okay, victory point is ours, almost. Saxony flag is a... Looks like a wolf. Or fox or something. Okay. Let's push into their base now. Apparently this thing can plop down to the ground and gain additional functionality. There she is. Big girl. You guys fall back. Let's try to get it to turn around. You'll be the bait. You might die, but that's the sacrifice I'm willing to make. Fire Kaiser! Not into the house, you noob. Here, go through the house. Well, there goes the engineers. Look at how huge that thing is com in comparison. That's right, get him in the, uh, the somethings. Well, we gotta be a veteran in order to uh, dig in, it seems. Which then will make us like a bunker. 
He's gonna die. Never mind. Get out of there, quick, quick, quick. That's the fall of Poland. Okay. That's fine by me. Wow, let's get that tank repaired. Cool, well, with a dead unit, we can now build another unit of our own. Let's get this one up. Seems like there's a very limited number of units on the field, to be honest. But uh, the amount of damage that some of these bigger units can do is insane. We need to manage them correctly. Let's get some more steel. We're going to win by crushing their base. And their face. Let's see what exactly goes on here with this new thing. Moving to designated location. Yeah. So this thing deploys like motorcycles that have explosives on it. It's really a weird device. Oh. The hell was that? A mortar of some sort? Oh! The whole iron mine was destroyed. All right, fall back, boys. Unfortunately, we don't have a veteran unit. I want to see these things dig in. Good job. All right, let's see how this little... There we go. What other vehicles did we have that were interesting? I think also the uh, this is basically the Tiger Tank, a twin-barreled armor killer capable of inflicting high single-target damage. That's what you want if you're trying to kill something like that. But this is a, essentially a walking bunker uh, armed in the teeth with a variety of weaponry, and that's probably what you want to uh, plop down in the ground to make some artificial bunkers. Let's push back up north. Our big assault is about ready to begin. thing is, imagine if you were in control of that thing. Would that make you dizzy? It walks forward by, like, spinning. Uh-oh. Machine gunners on the way. Oh, they're gonna... They're dead. That's nice. That uh, cannon's really good because it knocks them down. Oh, how dare they. That's fine. Okay, let's see if we can send some motorcycles into their base. Yes. Excellent. Wow, that squad didn't stand a chance. Oh wow, that really is good at removing cover too. They've got another unit inside there somewhere. Ah, an artillery piece. Alright, let's go engage. All right, artillery piece is almost taken care of. Oh, you're done. All right, let's see how quickly we can delete the barracks. Except for engineers, I'd like you to stay back. And repair this guy. Oh, they got a support weapon out. All right, let's go finish him off. Let's try going straight for the HQ and see what that does. Pretty good. I wish the Germans had some bigger artillery units, but again, we haven't even seen everything. I really want to see more of the Wotan and the... Uh, ah, here's the artillery mech. That's what we're looking for. All right, let's see what happens when we destroy the HQ. Look at these units fire, too. Well, there's the all turret machine gun on the front. And what looks to be... The gun on this thing isn't very impressive, nor is it a turret at all, though it looks like it can rotate. Oh, 
maybe like a 50 millimeter. It doesn't really look like that impressive of a cannon at all. Yay! Glory to the Empire indeed. Now don't go anywhere. We got another battle to fight, boys. A real battle. That was just a warm up to see what these guys could do. Now we're going to do a 2v2. We'll throw it on hard again and see how long it takes us to cut through. Wait, mission difficulty medium. Oh yeah, but the AI was harder. You can make it more difficult by turning on like time limits and things like that. Alright, player level scoots up. Faction level, nice. Ah, you can see I played more, way more Pol Polania. Nice, there's the hard AI. Alright, let's go back to the main menu. Now, let's do this again. Time to boost things a little bit more. I wish we could uh, build hero characters for battle. That'd be really cool. Alright, this time, let's max things out. So let's go crash site. Players. Uh, I'll be on team one as Saxony. So we'll go yellow and orange versus uh, blue. And uh, a different color of blue-ish, I guess. Melania, Saxony, good, good, good. Let's throw these guys on hard. Excellent. And I also wanted to change the rules to be... Uh, let's see. Army size, high. Starting resources, high as well. There we go. Let's see how that goes. Okay, seems good to me. Let's start the mission. All right. So now we have our ultimate battle, a 2v2. I don't know exactly if it lets us pick our starting point. We might be on the opposite side of the map, but now that we're against a hard AI and resources are more bountiful, we're going to see action a little bit earlier. I'm going to try to use units differently than we did before, except for the stormtroopers in that 40 millimeter tank are very effective. Orders. All right, let's get those things sorted. Go, go, go. All right, Consider get our bearings here. here okay, we want oil Absolutely. and an iron mine. New intel. I want... Engineers on the way. More engineers, please. Now we're starting with more resources, so we should be able to build something, but capping stuff is very important, too. Alright, Polanians are over here already. And our ally, the Saxons, are over here. So they seem to use a lot of steel. The uh, Rusviets seem to use a lot of concrete. The Germans use a lot of steel. And these guys use, like, a lot of sandbags and, like, canvas. But their mechs are very powerful, too. All right, good job. Go grab some of that stuff over there. Lots of supplies just sitting there. All right, boys, what can you do? Uh, let's go with the workshop. I want to try to get some light units up to start with. Saxonian precision, yeah. Okay, guys, grab that stuff. Iron mine. Okay, go for the iron, uh, the oil pump next. Then we'll go and see if we can support the engineers and block those guys. Let me get some more. Uh, submachine gunners up. The good thing about the barracks, too, one thing I didn't do last time was the advan The headquarters can produce stormtroopers, but the uh, barracks are what produces the grenadiers and some more of the advanced infantry, which are very powerful. Okay, let's stay there until reinforcements arrive. I'm going to try to cap that and then distract these guys. Right, you guys head over there. Okay, we gotta get more supplies now, so now that we got that down, let's go cap some stuff. Oil and steel in the center. Beautiful. Yeah, let them attack. Meanwhile, we're sneaking up behind them. Alright, retreat. Good work, boys. They were able to cap, so now we can wipe the squad. I wonder if melee attacking gives any sort of bonus here. Uh, looks like I can't jump on this side of the cover. Oh, there we go. Oh, now they're jumping to the other side. Trying to melee them. Oh, nice. Good job, boys. Second squad is here. Very good. All right, back to base. Looks like these guys have almost capped. Go for the iron there, please. Gonna need a lot more fuel, though. Alright, back to HQ. These engineers will be able to build us some good stuff here in a moment. Excellent. These guys are just causing a hell of a lot of... Damage. And that's a lot of good for the enemy to inflict. Or rather, to take. 
Okay, let's see. Uh, let's try to get that uh, oil pump and uh, hopefully to their uh, income as well. All right, let's try to boost up our engineers. Good. All right, build me a one of these bad boys. Okay, looks like we're getting engaged over there. Well, if we can decap it, we'll have that squad retreat. Just being a, a pest is a good thing, even though we sometimes might not be, like, killing squads. If... Oh, hell, that was fast. The build speed on that thing is incredibly fast. Oh, I love that unit. All right, you guys fall back. You guys get that material, and our unit will come up here. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Los! Okay, they got two trash cans, two mobile trash cans. MTCs are on the way. Mobile trash cans. Let's see if we can lure them over here. Okay, we gotta get a couple of these vehicles up. Our music seems to go back to Poland's music again. It's like very sad music. Oh, jeez, the trash cans. Oh, good, he's going to chase. Pursue the trash can. Oh, we got you now. Get dunked on, dumpster. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we'll recap that pump in a little bit. Let's get the engineers back up. And let's get our stormtroopers to head over here. Damn, get doubled down. Okay, I want to try to retake some of these pumps, too. Let's go back and recap that pump. Awaiting orders. Enemy unit Gotta get some of that Earl. Okay, let's see how we're doing in the center. We also need to capture some of our victory points. They have all three. Damn, if we don't cap these, we're dead. Okay, let's go to the center. And actually, let's go over here. We need to cap our victory points right now. And you go with these guys. You guys go there. Okay, it looks like all the victory points are in the center. Okay, this area is clear. Good. Yeah, it's good. Harass that enemy squad. You boys cap. You go over here. Oh, we're going to win if we're not careful. Our ally sucks. Enemy unit identified. Okay, I'm going to have to upgrade again so we get some bigger, better units. Crash camp. Damn, I don't know if I can take on two trash cans. Let's cap this victory point. We gotta Enemy slow down the bleed. Alright, good. We're capping another victory point. Friendly the unit on the way. Upgrade almost complete. Give me the big boy. That's the one I want right there, the Wotan. No, no, no. We're gonna lose this unit. No. Oh, I wish there was a way to reverse. Take on that damn trash can. Wait, we might be able to save him. That's fine. I want to distract them as long as possible. Keep them in, in position. Yeah, they got... Hey, you know how it is when you fight the AI. 
Now well, there went the head. Wow, crazy destruction this time around. Come on, we gotta fight back. Well, luckily the flag in the center is decapped. And it looks like our allies capturing this one, so we actually have a chance. Ah, uh, damn. All right. Well, what we lose in units, we actually gain in uh, co uh, population cap now. And now we can take care of those trash cans a little bit more effectively. I was hoping that that 40 millimeter would be able to go behind the anti-tank gun and eliminate the infantry, but it looks like the AT gun was able to turn much faster than I was hoping. But trial and error will. Uh... All right, good. Enemy's about to lose another squad. All right, let's go straight for the flag. Now this is a good unit against other larger mechs, but we need something for infantry. Looks like they've captured another AT gun. Annoying. I just need to hit him with stormtroopers. Excellent. Distract these units. Pin them down. Okay, we're covering one end of the flag. Now this is a much better battle. Grenadiers, I've noticed, have way too long of a cooldown, so if you're if you're building engineers, they take forever. Oh hell yeah. This is a good unit. Grenades take too long to recharge. That's what I'm looking for. Hell yeah. Okay, looks like they're bringing a support gun over. We better stay away from that. We'll go hit that with our infantry. I guess grenades are good for support weapons, but they still take a lot longer than I'd hope to recharge. It okay, looks like our friendly is starting to cap too. Good. All right, we're coming back. All right, let's build ourselves another 40 millimeter. That's what I call it. It might not be, but that's how I picture it. Excellent. We have 75% of the victory points now. Time to push into the enemy's base. We have 25 out of 60 now that we've maxed things out. Okay, we'll have to keep some squads in the back to defend. Let's see these guys. Okay, I think we're ready to attack. It's a pretty good force to attack with. Let's go for the oil first. And I would like to get some uh, engineers up. Excellent. Are right, we losing a victory point? <laughs> You're just pushing them around. Enemy unit identified. Boot on ready to decimate. I'm on the move. Stormtrooper squad ready. Stormtroopers ready. Understood. Okay, the enemy fire. Skills to use for the Empire. There we go. All right, our forces should be here soon. Preparing mission assignment. I want to build up another squad. We could bring another Instagram if we want to. Armor, 
Okay, there we go. We got two wonderful mechs here to deal with this. We're at 448 out of the 500 points required, but I want to hit their base. Enemy unit identified. Kaiser could be good. Enemy unit identified. Let's push into that base. Multiple enemies identified. Multiple enemies identified. Oh, hello. Beautiful big shot coming from this base. Oh, we gotta find another Metal Gear. The enemy is capturing our pump. Stormtrooper squad ready. I know, Ang. Let's go back down and block that pump. What? Ah, oh, damn it! Ah. Oh. Ah, another victory, darn. <laughs> Why? Well, not too bad. Despite us slipping a little bit in the middle, we were able to capture all the uh, objectives and got enough victory points. That's good. Last thing I want to do is have like a big mech battle, but we'll have to see very soon. Excellent. Okay, let's continue. Let's see, who had the best whatevers? Is there a way to see? Quarter, I don't I don't even know what that is. Wow, production. Oh, apparently everyone else produced... Oh, no, no one even healed. Oh, their units don't heal. Interesting. Cool, good to know. All right, guys, well, that's going to be it for this wonderful game. If you want to see more of Iron Harvest 1920, make sure you smash that like button. Thanks to everybody clicking the tab of that join button, becoming members, and I'll see you all next time. Multiplayer is a hell of a lot of fun. But I can't wait to continue the campaign sometime soon. Remember to check the description and read that description in its entirety to find the schedule of what I'm playing next. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.